And so I started the business and the beer thing is cool just because it's such a part of the culture here. So it gives me a way to connect with the community and support the other local businesses, which is really mm-hmm. fun. And again, you like such an important part about uh, having a small business is knowing how to niche down. And oh, totally. this was like a great way for me to not only connect with Mainers in particular, but find something that made my soap special. Yeah, how cool that like, wow, you can sell anywhere in the States, like you have like just created these deep roots into the community. Mm-hmm. Because even this collaboration with other breweries, like, what a cool way to like cross promote each other. So yeah, I love that. But it sounds like you've kind of like educated yourself one on how to make soap with it. But then yeah. also even like, on beer itself and like how mm-hmm. it works and like when it's past its prime, things like that. Are those things that you had always kind of known and then you've been able to implement or have you been no. like learning on the go? <laughs> oh, I've been very much learning on the go. Everything okay. about like entrepreneurship has been like, ah, okay, I guess I better <laughs> figure this out like on the fly. And it's amazing yeah. like how much you just like have to throw yourself into it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't know. I was just talking to somebody yesterday. I was like, who was feeling like a lot of imposter syndrome. And I was like, oh my word. You yeah. just joined like the club of a bunch of people who feel that. Like, so even people I know who are like multi million dollar makers still feel it too. So it's not like it's yeah. something that like goes away totally. I'm curious. So like you jumped in around the COVID time. What was some mm-hmm. of like the biggest challenges that you faced? The biggest thing, probably you'd think it would be COVID, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think if anything, it's more the imposter syndrome though. It was, it's really battling yourself with being an entrepreneur and like going into it with honestly, very little confidence that I could pull it off, but just know being willing to like throw myself into it and figure it out was like Mm -hmm. the thing that got me through it because I feel building that confidence and like learning to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and like learning to fail and like not let that be the end of the world in your head Mm has been the biggest the biggest difficulty I'm five years in and last night I was laying in bed and I told my husband I was like can you just tell me that I do great work and I'm a great person yeah Yeah. you do great work and you're a great person and I was like (laughs) I just need a confidence booster because um you're right like sometimes we get to where we are and we're like am I kidding myself that Mm -hmm. I can do this like and that's that's a hard place to be in so yeah did you ever see yourself running a business <laughs> no um okay. I liked I like kind of like structure and being told what uh-huh. to do sometimes and there's a security in that but I think um what I didn't realize is I just hadn't found something that I got really excited mm-hmm. about so yeah. that was not the plan originally but um <laughs> I love it and I can't imagine ever going back now <laughs> yeah For sure. For sure. I think it's kind of addicting. Like once you have embarked on the entrepreneurial journey, there's something that's really freeing about it. And that freedom, I find like addicting a little bit. So, oh yeah, I get it. If you were speaking to yourself like two years ago when you started, I guess three years now, (laughs) um, but like, what would, what would you tell them in terms of like a piece of advice or like a, Piece, yeah, what would you how would you advise them if they were just starting? Oh uh, yeah, I really wish I could talk to myself a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would just tell myself like do anything, do something mm-hmm. because it matters so much less if you mess up or if you do things out of order than if you just like get stuck in the analysis paralysis. Mm-hmm. Like you will improve drastically as long as you are doing something all the time. So I think that the bottom line is that as entrepreneur, like you can't talk to an entrepreneur who hasn't messed up. Like there's yeah. none of us exist. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> and I think that even because I'm the same way where I've been like, oh, sh-, or even like hindsight is twenty twenty, And like, yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe I should have hired that person before, like this position before mm-hmm. this position. Like maybe I did myself a disservice. Yeah. But all of those like quote unquote mistakes are like what has brought us here. And so like yeah. they like we like those are like stepping stones to like improve. And I really honestly mm-hmm. believe that. And so 